all know War Tycoon as one of the most influential PvP games in Roblox history. But how did it get from this to this? Let's talk about that. The year is 2019. This is the year that changes Kizmo's tech's life forever. Kizmo is not new to coding. He has known coding for a long time now. He was actually pretty prolific in the crypto space before he got into War Tycoon. Kizmotech creates some new software for the crypto world using crypto calculators to determine the profits that you can make off mining crypto. These crypto calculators are a big hit. They even get featured on a channel with over 70,000 subscribers at the time. But Kizmotech wants to try something new, so he sets his sights towards Roblox. He spends months upon months creating this game. He is able to officially release this game on April 22nd, 2021, under the name Oil Warfare Tycoon. And this game was a big success. It was able to cross over 50,000 likes within six months of the game being up. And this is for good reason because Kizmo was adding some great updates and the game just kept on growing. Kizmocheck was able to hit 150,000 members in his group, Green Titans Entertainment. With all the success from War Tycoon, Kizmotech decided to release another game. The game was dubbed Holiday Minigames. However, it never got past the beta. To this day, we are unsure of the reason why. However, this did not seem to slow Kizmo down. Soon after the release of Holiday Minigames, he released the World War II update and the new loadout system and grenade remodeling and night vision goggles. You get the point. This guy was pumping out updates left and right and his game was prospering. Shortly after all these updates, Kizmotech was finally able to hit 100,000 likes on his game within less than a year of the game being released. But even after all this, he didn't slow down. This is when he finally hired GameFam Studios to help him post more frequent updates to the game. Around one month after partnering with GameFam Studios, Kizmotech released the drones update, and the community seemed to love drones at the time. This update was able to boost Kizmotech's group numbers to over 500,000 members. And with the help of GameFam Studios, he was able to release more updates, with three new guns and the parachutes being added in March, and then adding a grenade update in April. The game went quiet for a few months with no updates. And that's when it happened. The biggest update in War Tycoon history was released. This update brought some huge changes. New map, new guns, revamped vehicles, gameplay improvements, and a new oil barrel system. But he's not done. Three guns at the drone bay, and a new kill cam. But the updates just keep on coming. A new downed and reviving system, the Scar L is released, and there's a new riot shield model. These updates are easily able to push his game past 200,000 likes. Think he's done there? Think again. One month later, Vietnam update. Bringing a new truck, four new guns, new uniforms, and four new operations. These new updates help push Green Titan Entertainment to over 1 million group members on Roblox. He is releasing massive updates every month. In September, boats update, 3 new boats, 2 new guns, 4 new operations. In October, the M142 High Mars is added. In November, we get the AC-130 and the new ATV. In December, we get the A-10 Airstrikes, Vehicle Skins, and the Laser 3 APC. These updates make the game see numbers it's never seen before, and finally able to overcome the 100 million visits mark. But they don't slow down. In January, Guardian update and Factions. The Factions update created a unique chatting system that no war game has ever seen before. In February, the Apache update, along with the helicopter revamp. In March, the KA-52 Alligator is released. In April, Gun Attachments update, featuring new types of customization in camos, new vehicle camos, new guns, and new attachments, along with the UGC, the Eurocopter, and some new gun skins. In May, we got the huge tanks update, featuring three new tanks, a new RPG, a new javelin lock-on launcher, new guns, and the new tycoon unlocks. In June, we get more tank updates, featuring the M1 Abrams and the new Abrams X Game Pass tank. In July, massive update, we get the newest map, the new C-RAM turret, new jet ski, the XM8 rifle, and a new helicopter. Even though I disagree, many say that this is the end of Good War Tycoon. There was a lot of OG players who quit after the new map came out. Some left to other games like Military Tycoon, and some just quit Roblox flat out. But even after all these players quitting, the game still kept growing. The most recent updates we've received were the new M3 Bradley and the newest UGC. And that brings us to today. Currently, we have been waiting over two months for the plane updates with around three delays. But if Kizmotech released buggy updates every single update, he wouldn't be in the position that he is in now, having one of the most popular war games in Roblox history. This is Mr. Jemez, signing off.